All right, I want to do a little demonstration video of my uh, TC4 roasting setup. So here I've got a little box uh, running the TC4. Uh, inside there is a Raspberry Pi 4 8 gig with the and the Arduino with the TC4 roasting module, TC4 Plus. Um, it's not super pretty, but it's pretty compact. I've also got a 26,000 milliamp hour battery that I've repurposed. And I'll open that up and show you the inside. And that's a 10 inch capacitive touchscreen hooked up with HDMI and mini micro USB to the Raspberry Pi. There's the roasting module. I gotta get some shorter uh, HDMI and USB cables. Uh, but I soldered the USB cable directly to the Arduino uh, because the onboard USB broke. So there's the battery pack under there. I had to take it apart and move the circuit board, uh, the charging board here, because it was too long. Uh, so I relocated and I used some Sugru. I didn't have enough, so it was just a piece of plastic there. But I... Uh, moved it all around. This is a power cable. Uh, so this power button doesn't shut the unit off. So I spliced into that USB-C power cable and put a uh, power button there so I can turn it off. Uh, so once it shuts down, since there's still power to the board, uh, the fans still run. And uh, so that way with the switch, I can turn it all off. And so I've got uh, the two wires here for the heater control um, and then I've got a PWM uh, you can, it's hard to see PWMs right here and a zero cross detector uh, so that's six wires and one temperature control probe so eight wires uh, so I have those running through uh, Ethernet Cat5 cable I put some quick disconnects here the next iteration will have an Ethernet port uh, in here, so I can just plug an Ethernet cable into here, and then one into the roaster. Uh, so there's the USB for the Arduino, and then I've got all my cables, and then Cat6 or Cat5, and then I just used one of the springs from the thermocouple, and this is my Boca Bean 500 gram. I added a new power cable, one that has a ground. Uh, I just felt a little bit safer about that. And then this has an AC motor for rotation, and then two halogen, 600 watt halogen bulbs for heat. The halogen bulbs are controlled uh, with phase angle control uh, using a solid state relay, and that's in here. And then the motor is controlled with a PWM uh, dimmer, and that's in here. It's just on and off. It doesn't control the speed. Um, and then that dimmer also has a zero cross detector on it. So I split the power uh, coming in. There was already an extra uh, wire I could use and uh, put the power into the PWM board so I could get the signal for the zero cross detector. And then that along with the three PWM wires uh, and the two control wires for the solid state relay uh, and thermocouple, uh, which I have out here, I don't have hooked up. I'll go through the ethernet cable and come back here. And I'll show you it, uh, give you a little demonstration. Uh, so we'll turn it on. You can see TC4 initialized, there it goes. And then we'll turn the drum on. Oh, I forgot I have, uh, I hooked the default uh, timer switch back on for safety. I'll probably replace it with just the regular power switch. Oh, I turned off, I must have hit the power button. So the drums on and then I've got heater control 
Um, I'll start at 50. 75, 100, and then we can back it down in 5% increments. With the halogen bulbs, you don't want to go too low uh, and run them for too long because the chemical reaction that happens inside there, that exchange won't happen if they're too low, uh, if they're not at full heat. So it could shorten the light of the life of the bulbs. Um, if I had spare bulbs, I might test it to see how it works. And I'm sure it won't be bad for roasting once in a while, but uh, it works really good. And uh, so I've got Artisan set up so that when I click off, it stops everything, turns it all off. And then I'm working on getting a new drum made uh, that's more like a real roaster. So this back panel will be open. The drum will be a bit longer, so it'll come to about the wall here. And then I'll be able to stick my thermocouple directly into the drum to get the bean temperature. So that's the project right now. Hope you guys like it. Thanks.